Uh, we often talk here on daytime about all the things that you can be doing now to help bolster your retirement savings plan down the line. Today, though, we're going to look at a few things not to do. The missteps that can cost you big. So retirement expert Corey Sickles of Safe Harbor back in this sponsored segment. Always great to have you, Corey. Glad to be here, Robin. All right, first common misstep, and you probably see this when you sit down with somebody for the very first time, right? What are they doing wrong? You know, the biggest part, more than anything, is they're probably not saving enough or they didn't start early enough. Mm. And, and really, what, what, really what I'm talking about is compound interest, right? So, you know, if you're 25 years old, you can see, you basically can save about $6,000 a year for 40 years, say you want to retire at 65, okay. and you have a million dollars with a 6% annual rate of return. You know, if, you're, if you wait till you're 35, then it's a little over about $13,000. And if you wait until you're 45, it's about $27,000 you got to save. And of course, if you uh, didn't save at all and you want to wait till 55, then you're looking at around $76,000 a year you have to save. Yeah. So, you know, and, and I know it's tough for a lot of for a lot of people out there, you know, you know, during your 20s and 30s and 40s, you're worrying about trying to get, you know, you have kids and you're trying to get them through school and all that type of stuff. But it's so important to be able to save, you know, when, you know, as early as you possibly can in the, the you know, the amount that you know, any amount that you can really. I was going to say to not say maybe you can't save 6000. So you say, well, I'm not going to save anything. Don't right. have that attitude. That's exactly save right. a, a little bit if you can. And a lot of times the other thing you see is people kind of ignoring that company match and it might not be as high as it used to be because I think you know things changed in that realm at a lot of companies but it's still free money. That's exactly right so if you have a 401k and if you have to contribute three percent or six percent in order to get to 100 percent match you need to be able to do it. Yeah. The way I look at it is you know keep think of that as your salary. Would you want to work and receive 3% less than you earn or 6% less than you earn? You, you have to take the free money because, you know, again, that's going to be able to help save. And, the, you know, the, the, the longer you do that, the more it's, it's going to compound over, you, you know, your lifetime. What about those who don't have an employer that offers a 401k? What should they be doing? Well, you know, one of the things you really should be doing at that point is either putting money into a traditional IRA or putting it into a Roth IRA. I'm a firm believer you know, and you know, one of the things that you really should do is put money into a Roth IRA. You put after tax money, you're still saving for retirement, but it grows tax free. And when you take it out, it's tax free versus a 401k or a traditional IRA, where yes, it com you know, it grows tax deferred, mm -hmm. but when you take it out, you're taxed 100 percent on it. Okay, this next one I know we've talked about before, and that's kind of rebalancing your portfolio. So what is it that people miss about this that really trips them up? Well, you know, as you age or as you get closer to retirement, your risk levels naturally change. Right, you know, if you're 25, 30, or even you know, uh, early 50s, you might be pretty aggressive on what you want your portfolio to do. But you know, as you you get near retirement, as you start planning for retirement, you need to kind of make sure that it kind of matches what your what your risk tolerance is. Yeah. You know, for a lot of people that were wanting to maybe retire in the next couple of years and didn't rebalance when 2022 happened, and all of a sudden you lost 20 to 30 percent of your overall portfolio value. I mean, now you're concerned. Can I retire? So it's, it's important to be able to do that, at least on an annual basis. But if you want to do it on a quarterly basis, you can do that as well. We talk about tax planning often, and this is something that people often do poorly, I'll say, because we don't really want to think about that and what it means in the future, that's right? A, that's exactly right. A lot of people think about taxes you know, come January, February, or March when they got to file for April. Right. It's right? that one thing we do a year. That's yeah. exactly right. And really what you want to be able to do is, you know, hopefully you're working with an advisor or someone that can help guide you because, you know, the one thing I always hear is, well, I can pay taxes now or I want to grow my 401k because when I retire, I'm going to be in a lower tax bracket. Well, there's, there's, there's two things I would say to that. One is probably about 80 to 85 percent of my clients are in the same tax bracket when they retire. As, as when they were working. Yeah. So that's kind yeah. of that's kind of gone. And the other part of it is our tax is going to be higher or lower, you know, 50, you know, 10, 15, 20 years from now. It, it, that's kind of an unknown. They're not going to probably be less. They probably only can be more. So if you don't have a tax strategy to try to get more tax free income, then, uh, you know, I think you could be, in, you know, you could have an issue with your retirement. All right, the other thing, I just want to mention both of these, um, Corey, quickly, and that's cashing out your savings early or taking Social Security early. Both of those can be very damaging. Yeah, and really what we're talking about is taking, when we start taking money out of your 401k, 
you know, before you're 59 and a half right. or taking it out to, to do, to, to spend other things, right? You know, because, you know, if you take it out of your 401k, A, you, you, know, you know, that money's no longer going to be there for retirement. And depending on what age you take it out, if you're under 59 and a half, then not only are you paying taxes, but you're also paying a 10% penalty. Right. So all that adds up. All, and all that adds up. And, the, you know, again, the more you take out of that, the less you're going to be able to have. And then the, the last, the, the other part was the, uh, was the cashing out the savings in the 401k, yes. both of those we know. Exactly. Um, but bottom line is you need to have a plan because that's the biggest misstep of all is not having it. So I want to let people know, go to safeharboroh.com, reach out to Corey and his team. It's a complimentary consultation. You can have no risk there. So you always could get an education before it's too late for some of those things. Exactly so right. Corey, thank you for being here. Thank you, Robin.